Konnichiwa minna! Welcome back to my channel! Still ridiculously sick, but managing to soldier on. I'm gonna try and edit out the coughs as much as possible because I know it might like hurt your ears if you're listening to me with headphones on. Sorry. <laughs> so I saw all these amazing screenshots going around town on the internet and then I've seen like YouTube videos and my recommendations of people having done like all these commentaries on these pictures and I was like I have a few things to say I would also like to give my commentary on this please <laughs> so let's get into it in this first picture we can see Eris doing an amazing attack one thing I love about the Eris's attacks in this is that they're actually like they're creating flowers out of her attacks and like crystals and stuff Obviously it's pink since pink is her colour, but I love like the use of flowers and like even this writing which probably is like the writing of the ancients I'm guessing coming out in her magic, which I think that's pretty damn cool. And then we can see like the setting here is like the train graveyard, which is also pretty epic looking. It seems to have the right feel from back in the day. I love the setting. I love the textures used in this little render. I think it looks incredible. Loving the magic, loving Eris's dress. And damn, look at them boots. <laughs> I have to say, I'm really obsessed with Eris's boots. I recently bought a pair of boots. Here they are, for those of you that are curious. And I have basically been trying to make myself feel like Eris, even though I'm nothing like her and she's amazing. But you know. A girl can try, right? <laughs> okay, on to the next picture. So hair again, this is the other thing that I was saying earlier about Eris's attacks and the use of flowers. Obviously, she's in the church and she has all these flowers which she's tending to and growing in the church. So I love this. It looks incredible. And I love how elegant they've kept her. Look at that stance that she's doing. How can anyone fight and then look like a flipping majestic creature princess person all at the same time only Eris can do this well that's just my biasness involved but there you go and then there we can see one of those annoying little lizard um enemy thingies on the side I love how in every single one of these screenshots Square Enix is really pushing the love triangle angle because in every single one we have Cloud, Eris, Tiffa like third wheel forever friend zone Tiffa <laughs> I love Tiffa by the way. I just, I always felt like Cloud and Eris are supposed to be together. So I'm a little bit biased. Don't judge me. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with her elbow, like the one which she's holding the staff with. I really, I'm afraid for your elbow right there, Eris. Be careful, my love. And her dress is all frilly and beautiful and elegant and flowing. And her cute little boots. I just, I really, really love those boots. Okay guys, I really, really want a pair of those boots. But I feel like they might make me look like an, a homeless little old man. <laughs> but Eris, she can pull off anything. Like You can put her in a, a black bin bag and she will look amazing. This is hands down my favourite picture of Eris attacking. Fully in her element, looking completely beautiful and incredible. I love the pinks, I love the magic, I love the like... The iridescent glow of this magic coming off her and all these petals everywhere of the magic again that flower theme I just love it I think it looks incredible and I'm wondering if this is the tempest attack um, but I guess we won't know until we play the remake so now we have Roach who I if you follow me on Instagram I like I like reshared this from Square Enix's page and I was like ha Square Enix I see what you did there as in cockroach I got you <laughs> So let me just read what Square Enix wrote. Oh wait, it's not on Instagram. Roach, Roche, I don't know. I bet you there's gonna be some kind of speculation as to how we pronounce his name too. Is it Roche? Is it Roach? I mean, I'm going for Roach because it reminds me so this is off Square Enix website, Roach or Roche. This third class 3C, like 3-C, soldier turned rebel is also known as Speed Demon. He loves bikes, speed, and anyone who can give him a challenge. 
His comrades, however, find him annoying. He constantly squeals his rare tire and makes them choke on fumes of burnt rubber. There's a couple of things here, and I remember seeing an article not long ago saying that if he's annoying and if he, like, is that much of a rebel, he might not be admired very much by his fellow soldier, like, third-class soldiers, right? He might be a little bit of an outcast. And I really resonated with this article. I can't remember where it was from. I'll have to try and find it again if I can. I resonated with it because I thought that makes complete sense. He would be a bit of an outcast. Can you think of the most annoying person you've ever met and, and really think if you really wanted to be in the same room as them? I, I can think of a few and, and I left the room each time. <laughs> if we look at Roach, I like how cool he looks. If I'm honest with you, when I first saw him, I thought he reminds me of like a cross between Lars from Advent Children and Sid. He looks like a young, arrogant version of Sid, but with a sword and with like a weird, what's that called? A mullet? A, like a mullet situation happening, right? He looks cool. He looks like he's gonna have a little bit of an annoying kind of aura. He has that little look on his face that's like, I don't wanna be your friend, I'm gonna challenge you type of thing. But also this article that I read online said that if he likes a challenge, then he might be impressed by Cloud, which I also agree with. Um, I feel like if he is one of those people that will resonate with someone who gives him a challenge and he'll kind of be impressed and, you know, that type of thing, then he might look up to Cloud in a way. Um, so yeah, really, really cool looking design for Roach. Um, and again, I'm pretty damn sure we're going to see Cloud on his Daytona and this guy on his little bike having a little, like, duel on their bikes. Hey ya, hey ya. That is not what Dior looks like, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really like this character's design. It'll be nice to see how they incorporate him in. And, you know, he'll be like this annoying little guy that kind of keeps chasing us on his bike. So, let's see. Look at this Shinra building designer. It's gorgeous. Deku tree, is that you? <laughs> the tree of life? Is that the Deku tree? What kind of tree? Oh my god, it's a beautiful tree though. <laughs> Let's not lie. Um, isn't it funny how Shinra is corrupt and polluting the planet in Final Fantasy VII, but yet it has a tree growing in the middle of its building on this floor, and it's clearly a central piece of this design, but it's a really huge juxtaposition, if you know what I mean. It's a really huge contrast with what Shinra stands for, because Shinra does not care about the planet at all. Have they put this tree there so that their own oxygen is cleaner? <laughs> um, or is it just a design piece that Square Enix thought of? I'm not sure why it's there, but it is actually gorgeous. And it definitely looks like it has some sort of use because it has a lot of wires hanging from it. I mean, are they sucking up the life from it? Are they sucking up the oxygen from it? What are they taking from this tree? Because Shinra is never going to have a tree in its building and not be trying to suck the life out of it in some way. So I'm pretty sure that'll have something like some little sequence in the game of its own. If we look around this, first of all, I like the little neon sign for cafeteria. But if you look up, you can kind of see that mesh design, right? And I could be wrong, but I feel like this is the same mesh design we've seen in a previous screenshot where Tiff is like, She's kind of like hanging off of it and like moving through the building. I feel like this might be that scene. I think it's Tifa sneaking through the building. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but who knows? This is just so bizarre. Guys, you know I love Eris to bits. She's bae, but what the heck is she touching? <laughs> I was like, is that supposed to be one of the ghosts? I'm pretty sure I saw some type of a comment or video or something saying she's touching this ghost. And I just looked at it and I, the first time I saw this, I was like, Oogie Boogie, is that you? <laughs> I was like, this is wrong. There's so many levels. It just looks weird. What is that red stitching about? What is it? It's just creepy. Like, I don't know. I didn't, it was a bit unsettling. I didn't really like this image. I was hoping like they'd show a little cute enemy at the very least, you know? It's just weird, but clearly she's somehow connecting to it in some way. She's touching it. Maybe she feels sorry for it. Maybe she's trying to be her beautiful loving self rather than like attacking it first and then 
I don't know, it's like getting defensive with this red stitching glowing and then it starts attacking and then Cloud and Aerys have to get into fight mode and I'm clearly making up the story for Square Enix so I should start now. <laughs> but um, regardless, it's a bit weird. I, I'm, it's not my favourite picture, but if you cut it in half and just look at Aerys, then it's my favourite picture. <laughs> look at Shiva. Damn, girl. She looks insane. The magic flowing off her and the icy, like, kind of wafting around her. That iciness all around her looks absolutely amazing. Moving on, another shiver. Yeah, I love shiver. Okay, so it looks like Eris is the one summoning her because you can see Tempest in, like, the lower left-hand corner. And then you can see Eris is, like, Eris's name is kind of highlighted a little more and sticking out. Um, it looks like she's battling Odin, for God's sake. Oh my God, look at that creature, enemy-looking guy. Anyway, he looks really, really, really menacing, like an Odin wannabe, but clearly not completely Odin, because his horse is like half mechanic, which is kind of weird looking. But anyway, regardless, we see Shiva doing her thing, a huge like piece of ice about to drop on its head and end its life. Everything's looking good. And it seems like Shiva's got like a timed bar. Because if you see, like, next to her name in the like, lower right-hand corner, Shiva has, like, a bar, and it's gone halfway. I don't know whether that's, like, a bar for her attack power or a bar for her screen time. Like, does it kind of, like, go down and then she disappears off screen once that goes out? I don't know. We'll, we're going to have to see in the remake, but I love this design. She looks, again, she's flowing, she's magical. She has, like, these little flowing material bits that look like wings coming off her. She's gorgeous. I think we've seen this one before, haven't we? I love this building design. Shinra headquarters look like they're absolutely popping. I feel like I want to work there. Square Enix, I think you need to make this building a reality and then call it Square Enix slash Shinra headquarters. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, you can see the material slots in Cloud's Buster Sword. Kind of cool, right? Look at me with my little yellow t-shirt on, looking like a chocobo and shit. 